How are we going to make some money in this game? When you're just starting out in Stanton, things can be overwhelming and feel extremely unexplained. That's how it felt the first time I woke up in Area 18, but I promise it definitely gets better with time. If you follow the tutorial, you'll know where to pick up some gear before heading out. I definitely suggest getting some armor and an AR rifle to start out with. Also, make sure you pick up a multi-tool with a tractor beam attachment for moving things like packages and dead bodies. There are a number of different mission types you can take on from the get-go. Deliveries are easy enough for starting out, and I do suggest doing a few to help with some flying practice. But the main missions we're looking at as a beginner would be the mercenary missions. Not all the missions are what we're wanting to take on just yet though. We're looking mainly for missions that will take us to a bunker on a planet to either clear out the bad guys or defend the bunker from the bad guys. A quick note before heading out, remember to accept the call to arms mission as well, so that you're making some extra money simply from getting the kills on the bad guys. When you head down into the bunkers, you'll have the chance to loot weapons, armor, and more from the bunkers, but my suggestion would be to clear out the enemies before doing any looting. You never know where the enemy is going to come from. Once you've cleared everyone out, you'll have a time limit to get your looting done and get out safely before the guards and turrets turn on your ship. So be quick. This is where the multi-tool with the tractor beam attachment comes in handy. But before dragging around the corpses of your enemies, take a sprint around the bunker looking for these red loot boxes. They can contain some pretty amazing pieces from armor to gems to weapons like sniper rifles, missile launchers and railguns to food and drink. I like to grab what I can from them and then head to the lift straight away. Don't head up the lift yet though. You'll want to empty your loot box loot onto the lift if you need to make space and grab your trusty multi-tool. I like to drop all my weapons at this point, except for anything I plan on definitely keeping for certain, because it has happened where it's fallen straight through before. But then we can head back in and grab two guns onto our holsters. Use the multi-tool to drag some bodies over to the lift. I like to drop all my guns on the lift at the same time every time I come back. Uh, that way I can grab a few more when going back for more bodies, but there aren't always something that I make it out with. Once we have a few buddies in the lift, we need to check the time. The timer runs down the entire time, so make sure you are quick and have the right amount of time to get out safely. I try to make sure I'm out of there with two minutes to spare each time. So whether that means three bodies or four, we need to make our way back up topside so that we can move the bodies and the weapons onto the ship and fly into space before the turrets ruin all of our efforts. There are other methods of doing this where you create a storage box that you can take down the lift with you, but I haven't myself really learned how to do that yet. My playstations are not really long enough to destroy a ship, come looking for the storage box and then go looting. Once we have some bodies and weapons on the ship, we're out of there. And once we're in space, we'll remove everything from each body into the vehicle storage and then we'll use our tractor beam to dispose of the bodies. Make sure you get rid of all the bodies before heading into a space station or a planet though. There is a prison element to Star Citizen and no, it's not fun. So if you've got bodies in your ship and you get scanned by security, you're in trouble. Once we're all looted up, we head into a space station or planet side city hub to sell everything off. And there we have it. A great way to make some money as a solo beginner that has the elements of gunplay, looting and travel to keep it an interesting loop. You could also go the route of not being a loot goblin, clearing the bunker and heading straight on to the next one if you wish. It's a viable money maker still, and possibly quicker if you're in a rush, but being a loot goblin at heart has made the way I ran the one in this video the most enjoyable way for myself. As you level up your reputation, your missions will pay more and you'll unlock more types. You can keep some armor and weapons in local storages or space stations and planet side city hubs for times where death finds you. But remember, dressing like a bad guy NPC puts you in a dangerous way. So try to keep the security guard armors if the bad guys manage to kill the security guards. Don't kill them yourself because crime stat. But try to keep those ones so that other players will be able to tell the difference between a bad guy and a good guy. 
What are the best game loops you'd suggest for new players? Let me know in the comments below and maybe we can make a video showcasing them. Thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. I really appreciate it as it helps the channel grow and do greater things. And the best part is, it's completely free.